Hi and welcome back to the channel everyone. So, I've had a fantastic morning this morning. I've been out photographing... Uh, I've been out photographing uh, the tiny owls this morning. And I've just spent some time now with some red squirrels. And I'm now, hopefully, going to go and photograph a grey heron on the edge of this lake over here. So yeah, today I'm out in Yorkshire. And I'm struggling with this because I've got thistles and nettles and all sorts of prickly stuff going on. So I need to very quietly and carefully make my way over there without being seen. With any luck, I'll get the shots I want. Well, a couple is getting dressed. Okay, now I need to make my way over there. really close to the heron there um, mother and well parents and juvenile um, I've had to back off though um, because the heron was making its way round towards me and it was just getting so, too close um, that if it did spot me um, it would have been very much very startled to put it the least um, and I didn't want to do that so I backed off um, and just let them carry on fishing um, which leaves me on to lunch. I need to go back to the car. I'm starving. I've been out since, what time did I get up this morning? Four o'clock this morning. Two hour drive here to Yorkshire. Um, I need to get some food and drink and spend the evening. Um, it's forecast to rain, but I'm hoping it'll, it'll uh, stay off for a bit. But uh, what a fantastic morning. Anyway, I'm gonna jump over now and do a proper introduction and say hi. So I'll see you during lunch. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I've come to Yorkshire. A couple of goals, well a few ideas in mind. Um, one of which is the little owls, which I'm hoping will show up very soon right here. Um, and then I'm going to go and photograph the re red squirrels seeing as I am in the area today 
and any other wildlife that I may come across. But first of all, I need to get in here and wait for these owls to turn up. Not easy doing things with uh, leafy hands. First of all, we had one of the owls come in, um, not entirely sure which are male and females. Um, they look very, very similar. Um, and then a juvenile came in, and then a second adult came in. So we've got two adults and one juvenile uh, that keep flying in and landing on this uh, gate post and, and public footpath sign, which is really, really nice to see. Um, there are a few other birds flying around but they don't seem to be bothering the owls at all but no it's really good to see love these little owls such big yellow eyes fantastic
has had two albums. The one from this uh, lovely footpath sign. Absolutely amazing to watch. They're just coming in, flying in, um, taking insects and stuff off the sign. Absolutely brilliant. Hopefully they'll come back. Um, what I want to try and do is do a bit of slow motion video. I always like to do this in my videos, um, just so you can see the movement of the bird and the animals. It's just really nice to see that in slow motion. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. come down to um, the woods now to photograph the red squirrels and there's a good number of them and in fact to tell you what there's loads of finches around um, there's a tree stump down over here that must have just had at least 20 finches and, and sparrows on it there must have been a lot of ants or flying ants or something some insects on it because the birds just went straight down I started picking at the ground. Um, I'll put that video clip up now, but yeah, that was that was a bit intense. Um, but we've got a few squirrels coming around. I was photographing um, from over there, further sort of in the woods, and photographing the squirrels running away, running towards the camera. Um, when I came over to get my bag and came over to get a battery, turned around and there's a uh, squirrel with its head inside the camera. Um, in the lens hood itself. Unbelievable. I just thought, oh, well, I'm just going to have to sit here and photograph that because how, <laughs> how often do you ever see something like that happen? Absolutely fantastic. Um, but no, ab this is just amazing. It's like something out of a, uh, a Disney film. You've got the squirrels, you've got the birds, it's it, the woods, and they're all just together. Fantastic to see, absolutely fantastic. And the midges as well, I need to get some midge repellent on fast. guys this is a wrap for today and this video it's got very humid very quickly dark clouds have rolled in and there are flies thousands of flies everywhere not just midges but flies and it is horrendous um, like I say it must be just a change in the weather that uh, I suddenly brought them all out and to be fair I've had enough of flies today um, but no what a fantastic day um, that bit of rain starting to rain as well but what a fantastic day um, started off with the little owls um, that was run by a guy called Paul I will put the link in the description below and 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very kind and I'm going to either give away a full photo session hide experience run by Paul or 50% off haven't decided yet I'll put the uh, details in the description below but um, yeah all you need to do is do a positive comment and a like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe please um, and I will pick or a computer generated device will pick one random commenter out and you will get the voucher for a photo session at one of Paul's hides that could be the badger the owls the squirrels or you can put it against one of his bigger trips to photograph the wolves or the this polar bears um, so there'll be a link to his website in the description below as well um, but for me what a day um, little owls I was a bit late to the party um, as two of them were already, had already fledged so there was only one left and the parents but still fantastic experience great to photograph um, you're gonna have to excuse me for doing all this there's flies everywhere um, and then I came to the woodland here in, near Hawes uh, to photograph the red squirrels most of you know where I am um, and then I went down to a waterway and photographed the grey herons that was absolutely fantastic I've never been so close to a grey heron um, and thanks to the camouflage for that because it did not see me at all in fact it got so close that I had to back off like I mentioned earlier um, but no that was really good it would have been nice had it have caught a big fish or an eel or frog or something um, but unfortunately it didn't but anyway I'll shut up photos at the end as always and until next time guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and one of you lucky guys will get the voucher to come and photograph some wildlife so for now take care